What is up, my swords, men, and shield maidens? Welcome back to another episode of True's Pokemon Omega Ruby Forever Wedlock. This is the grand finale, the final episode ever. So for one last time, guys, I would like for you guys to go ahead and shield bash that like button down below for me if you are hyped, because in today's episode, we're going to fight the final member of the Elite Four, the champion, Steven Stone. So, guys, this is the grand finale. Like I said last episode, um... Got 23 likes in like the first like couple hours. So thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, you guys, the support on this series so far has been absolutely incredible. In all seriousness, this series has been so much fun, and it's all thanks to you guys and all the comments that you leave and everything. And it's really given me the motivation to just do better and do more and just really have fun with the series. And just thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. And um, maybe this episode we could try and hit 25 likes and beat that 23 likes. It would be amazing. Thank you guys so much either way. Seriously, at, like, you guys just, you guys are the best. And um, I'm going to go ahead and suit up our mods here because I have, I am on a little bit of a time restraint again today. So I'm going to be trying to f not fly through this because I don't want to make any mistakes. But I want to go through the simple stuff real quick first and uh, kind of get that out of the way. I have been looking at my team a little bit off screen thinking what can I do to really like brush this team up, get it up to par to fight Steven. Now, there's a few TMs I want to teach. Um, as well as you saw, I attached the Aggron Knight just right there to Juliet. So we can get ourselves a Mega Aggron along with the Rock Polish. And there's one more move that I saw. What was it? It was Brick Break. Because if you guys don't know, Steven loves to use some Rock types and some Steel types and stuff like that. So Brick Break will be helpful. It definitely will. And I think that Juliet is really going to be the main force behind the team in today's episode. Um, the final episode, that being said. So, we've gone ahead and done all of that now, so let's get jiggy with it, and uh, I don't know why I said that to be completely honest. I, this is the last episode, guys. I'm allowed to say whatever the heck I want. I'm allowed to say whatever the heck I want. Now, uh, let's get to it, guys. Let's go. Oh my goodness, we're getting straight into this. It's so exciting. It's just like, episode one was so long ago. I just went back and I rewatched some of episode one. And just the nostalgia. I just, uh, it's so, so good. I'm just, I'm excited to be here, guys. And I'm just, I'm really grateful. I really am. And I would love to do tons more Pokemon LPs for you guys. Because the support for it was absolutely amazing. And we'll talk more about that as we get into the video. But I know Steven probably has some choice words for us right now. So I don't want to interrupt him. Welcome, Norsey. I was hoping I would get to see you make it here one day. Tell me, what have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? What have you felt meeting so many other trainers out there? Traveling this rich land of Hoenn, has it awoken something inside of you? I want you to come at me with all that you've learned. My Pokemon and I will respond in turn with all we know. Let us begin. All right, so. Here we go, the championship battle, the last battle to ever be on. Actually, I'm not sure. Do we have another rival battle? I kind of doubt it. But um, our last ever Pokemon Forever Wedlock video. I can't believe that's probably, that's the last time that I will ever say that intro. That intro is one of my favorite things about the series, to be honest. It probably just sounds like a bunch of gibberish to you guys. Drew's Pokemon Omega Ruby Forever Wedlock. I just loved saying that so much this whole time. I really did. And um, we're going to set up a few rock polishes here. But I really enjoyed saying it. And sometimes I would find myself about to record like uh, Hunger Games or something. And when it accidentally slip out of my mouth, I'd be like, What is up, everybody? Welcome back to, oh, sh Mindplex Hunger Games. And stuff like that like I kept always wanting to say it because it's just so like I don't know it's just for me the if you go back and watch the first episode the first time I ever said the intro it like I legitimately said the intro for the first time ever that episode and um uh it it, it the first time I was like true's Pokemon Omega Ruby forever wedlock because 
it sounded like like when I was sitting in my head it was so complex like think about those words it's like a huge string of words and just like the first time I said it it was like just so difficult to say and now it's just like oh we get the crit and it didn't even do that much that's upsetting but yeah whenever I say it it's just like now it's just like right there it's like so quick forever wedlock true's Pokemon Omega Ruby forever wedlock it's just like it's it's amazing wow oh man that del oh, was a crit it's gonna set up another layer of spikes. Good thing we were planning on sticking in with Mega Juliet here the entire time. Hopefully we can take you down, because I really don't want full restore. Ah, uh, you're gonna full restore. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Now, the trouble here is that uh is it Steel Wing? I think Steel Wing has the chance to increase your defense. So if he manages to get a defense increase, this could stall us out quite a bit. Um, so let's wait and see. Hopefully he doesn't, and we can get another couple crits. That would be really helpful. Get a few really good hits off. Come on. You Steel Wing, please don't get that defense increase. I'm pretty sure Steel Wing has a chance of that. Okay. So far, so good. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm just picturing things in my mind that don't really exist. Oh my gosh. That's so little. But but it's okay. We're tanking, we're tanking these hits. Uh, it's not like... It's not like Skarmory is doing any sort of damage to us at all, so... Plus, we have some Max Elixirs that I'm probably going to use. Oh, no, never mind. We took out the Skarmory. Okay, I was going to use it if Skarmory survived, but... No big deal. I'm actually happy we took that Skarmory out. Um, Aggron. we got to keep battling. We've got the two Rock Polishes set up, and I want to hold on to those so we can outspeed the... The, uh... Whatchamacallit, Duger. Let's go for our... Let's go for Earthquake, see how much it does, but I still feel like Brick Break probably would do more, so I don't really know why I went for Earthquake, but let's see. Actually, that was huge. That was huge. Okay, hold on, Juliet. Oh my gosh, Juliet. Juliet, Juliet. Oh my gosh, Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Yes. Yes, Juliet, you're doing amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow, this is great. So two Pokemon down. This is awesome. Mega Juliet is really coming through here. Mega Juliet. Um, you got Clay Doll coming out here. Now, I am kind of nervous about Clay Doll. Clay Doll. Um. You know what? We're going to switch. We are going to switch to Delta, unfortunately. I really wanted to stay in, but hopefully we'll get another chance to set up some stuff. But, um, Clay Doll makes me nervous because he's Earth and, uh,. He's also special, and Aggron's special defense is actually really bad. Um, so let's take the first turn to Hyper Potion up um, Juliet. Because I don't really think Clay Doll has much he can do to us. Extra Sensory actually does a decent amount, but not, not anything to be afraid of. So we can just come in with our X Scissor and hopefully one shot this guy. No, we don't. It is super effective, however. You're going to set up a light screen. Uh, is X Scissor. No, see, the, the light screen's not going to help you here. We don't have special attacks. So, whatever, man. You set up all those. Ah, there we go. The reflect. There's the reflect. I'm not happy about that. Not one bit. Maybe I should have. Uh... Okay, this turn I'll do it. You know what? This turn I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and stall out some turns right now. Um, I'm going to go for a fly. So that we can try and get that, that Reflect to wear off yeah, faster. Plus, he goes for the full restore. Rather unfortunate, in all honesty. Uh, this this Clay Doll is actually a little bit scary. We're at half health now. It's pretty dang scary, in my opinion. So that just wasted a good turn right there uh, of the Reflect now. We definitely have to heal up now. The Light Screen wore off, so the Reflect should wear off this turn, because I believe he used them in succession. So that's really good. Hopefully he won't get the chance to set up another one, but he probably will, judging by his health. Extra sensory. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now the reflect wears off. This is exactly what we wanted. Let's go for that night slash. Pretty big hit right there. I'm surprised I used reflect. It's exactly what I was thinking. It's rather unfortunate. He's probably just going to keep spamming reflect every time it goes down. So wasting those turns, probably not too important to do at this point. That didn't do nearly as much as last time. Uh, 
gosh, all of a sudden my nose is all bad. What would it wouldn't be the forever wedlock if I didn't if I didn't have like allergies or something, right? <laughs> but guys, um, back to what I was saying before. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the series. Seriously, um, there was something. There's one thing I've never really talked about. I don't think on the series um, that happened. Cradily. Maybe we should stay in. We're gonna stay in on the Cray Dilly. Ooh, ooh, actually, maybe a bad idea. Ancient Power. You could have Ancient Power. You're most likely gonna have Ancient Power, and the Rock move would hurt us. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna Hyper Potion up. I still think we can take it because we're pretty bulky, but we probably should have switched. But, um, I never told you guys that I really, probably one of my favorite things about this series was doing the, um, doing the, uh, the live stream. The live streamed episodes were really fun. I had a lot of fun interacting with you guys on the live stream and everything like that. So I think if I ever do a Pokemon series again, which I plan on it, I don't mean like if I ever do it again, because obviously I'm going to do more Pokemon series. I love Pokemon. Um, but if I ever do, I was thinking that I might do a lot more um, live streamed episodes. Because it was light, it was a lot of fun, like I did say. And, uh, yeah, so be be looking forward to that. I hope you guys that you guys like them too, uh, the live streamed episodes, because I definitely want to do more of those. Also, guys, um, wow, those spikes did a lot of damage. Leave down below in the comment section uh, what you want to see from me in terms of next LP, because uh, I have a lot of things running through my mind that we could do for an LP. Um, wow, that was a crit. Oh, Confuse Ray, really? Really now? Alright, I have an idea. First turn, Potion, you. But yeah, I have games like Rust that I'm really addicted to right now, and I'll probably talk about that in a little bit, because I am really addicted to Rust right now. But uh, we got Rust, we've got... Uh, we've got... Uh, another po We've got other Pokemon games. We've got Minecraft, we've got H1Z1, any shooter game you can think of, Skyrim, I'm really big into Elder Scrolls games, ESO, Oblivion, uh, just like anything that you guys can think of that you want to see me let's play, Kingdom Hearts even, I love Kingdom Hearts, I can record Kingdom Hearts, no problem. You guys let me know, because I am I am taking advice on the next LP and what you guys want to see from me, so definitely let me know down below, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, we got ourselves in our Maldo. Gosh, diggity darn our Maldo. Um, staying in because I don't think our Maldo can touch us too much. I'm gonna hyper potion Juliet. This first turn. It's gonna use Rock Blast. Okay, that is gonna do a little bit. But it's Rock Blast. As long as you don't hit a bus... Oh, gosh, already three times. Okay, three times. That's not too bad. Um, sort of wondering what Fly will do, damage-wise. Mmm. Crush Claw. What the heck is Crush Claw? I've never even heard of that. Please don't do a lot. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so... And he gets hurt by Rocky Helmet. I love that Rocky Helmet. Let's go ahead and switch into Juliet. We are going to take the, um, the rock damage, the stones damage, whatever it's called. Spikes, there we go. The spikes damage. But it's okay. It's really okay. As long as he didn't like predict this and go for some crazy move. Wow, eat that up. Eat that up. Eat that up. So what we're going to do is set up our rock polishes again. So that we can outspeed. Because I really need to outspeed um, that, that Metagross. So... I'm going to set up probably two, maybe three of these, because I really do want to outspeed. Actually, we'll probably set up three. I think it's probably going to take three to outspeed a me Mega Metagross. So. Plus, it looks like this Armaldo doesn't really have anything to touch us, so we'll probably potion up and then go for some hits. We'll potion up Delta 2 while we're at it. So, let's go potion uh, Agron first, Juliet here. And then we're going to potion up Delta. So we're at full health for both of our Mons. 
Because look, this Armaldo, it, it's not really doing too much to us, so we're good. <sighs> we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. And here comes another X Scissor. That was that looked like like crit damage. That's how sad that was. Uh, let's go for the <clears throat> your bug ground or bug rock. Now, I'm pretty sure bug resists ground, doesn't it? Also, hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe we'll go for a heavy slam. We'll see how much that does. Oh wow, yeah, that that that, that did just fine. <laughs> that did just fine. All right, so now I'm excited. We're up to his last Pokemon. This is Metagross. Let's see if we can't do this, guys. Oh my gosh, we're so close to doing this without losing a Pokemon. Hold, hold strong, Juliet. Hold strong. All right, <sighs> guys. I honestly am gonna look this up just to play safe. Um, I'm going to look up. I don't know. Hold on. Just one second, guys. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> and clicking it. Okay. Okay. I wanted to make sure that it didn't have Levitate as its ability, and it does not. So that's amazing. Okay. I was pretty sure it didn't, but I wanted to double check just so I didn't make a stupid move. Um, we're going to go for the Earthquake then. Gonna go. Oh wait, does it have Levitate as a? No, it has Tough Claws, I believe, as a Meta Mega Metagross. Look, we do outspeed. This is awesome. Oh, it only does a little less than half. Giga Impact. Can we take it? Can we take it? Come on, Agron. Oh my gosh, we took that so well. We took that so well. Yes. Okay. 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 Earthquake time. Yes. You would think Metagross would have Levitate. Look at him, I'm levitating around. He has to recharge, that's right. So now we can, he's going to full restore, though. He's going to full restore. we got to go for Earthquake again. He didn't full restore! I thought he... Did he use a full restore before? He did, but I thought he had multiple. I thought the champion always had multiple full restores. And we grow a level 56. Oh my gosh, guys, we did it. We, we beat the Forever Wedlock. Our very first Nuzlocke on our channel. And we win. So I, the champion, fall in defeat. But you fell to me, you know I'm a pro. Just as I've come to expect, Norsa, you truly are an excellent Pokemon trainer. Congratulations to you, and thank you. I had wanted to learn how it feels about how you feel about this world, what kinds of ideals you have. Whoa! Whoa, Unova confirmed! Unova remake confirmed! Ideals! <laughs> you have developed with your Pokemon. I feel I was able to find the answer in our battle. The feelings you have for your Pokemon, and the way that your Pokemon gave their all during their battle, and their response to those feelings, those two together created a great power. That is how you seized victory today. I felt a thrill of excitement in my breast when we first met, and now I know for sure that feeling was not misplaced. Look at that small grin! Look at that grin! You are rightfully the Hoenn region's new. Oh no, man, get out of here! Norsi, wait, I've got some advice you've got to hear before you challenge the champion. Huh? Wait, what? What? Norsi, could it be that it's already over? Oh gosh, I don't even remember your voice, Elm. See? What did I say, May? Didn't I tell you that Norsi would be just fine? Norsi, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father in the Petalburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think that you actually became the champion. But congratulations on today's victory. Now go there with your head held high. Norsi. No, I should call you the Hoenn Region's new Pokemon League champion. Come with me, champion. Hey, who said you could come, May? You stay there. I'm very sorry. But only a trainer who has successfully become the champion may go beyond this point. You'll need to wait outside with the professor. No way! Just joking. Just joking, it's okay, it's fine. Rules are rules, right? Norsi, honestly, congratulations. Well, thank you, May. Oh, man. Thanks, May. Look at this. I'm so... Oh, my gosh. We did it. We did it. This room. This is where we maintain the records of Pokemon that prevailed through the harshest of battles. It's here that the League Champions are honored. 
Come, we will use this machine to record your name, the names of the partners who belong along with you to triumph over the Pokemon League. Well, at least Sabrina and Salvatore get to be honored forever in the Hall of Victory. Hall of Fame. We got Juliet, the real MVP of the championship battle. Delta, congratulations, buddy. Trouble, oh, Trouble, you've been with us since, oh my gosh, the very beginning. Chernobyl here, didn't get too much airtime, but, and there's the fan favorite, Salvatore, followed by newcomer Sabrina. And there we are, Norsey, congratulations on becoming the Pokemon League champion. We've come a long way, guys, since episode one. We really have. I'm really proud. I'm really proud of what we've accomplished in this LP and the just the, the fun that we had in the moments we shared in this LP. It's just so great, and I look forward to doing the next one. I really do. The next, even Forever Wedlock. Who knows, maybe in a couple years or less, I might do another Forever Wedlock because it was so much fun. Oh, so sad. Why are you so sad, May? Why are you so sad? Welcome back, Norsi. I just thought, you know, that since we were both here and all, that I'd wait for you. We set out on this journey together, right? So maybe we should finish it together too. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, so sweet. Complete 180. So come on, let's go home. Back to Little Root Town. Okay. Okay, May. I'll be your friend. Let's be friends. <sighs> this cutscene, though. I actually, I have goosebumps. I really do. That's kind of sad that I have goosebumps over a Pokemon game, but this is my first time beating um, Oras. It really is, so... Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm just gonna sit back and admire Kensugamori. What is up, everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode of True's Pokemon Omega Ruby Forever Wedlock. Right. We got our three typical choices of Trico, Torchic, Mudkip. Um, we already, on my Sapphire, I'm using Trico. Um... So it's really coming down between these two, but I'm feeling the mud kips, man. We're gonna name our mud kip Salty. <laughs> Salty in trouble. <laughs> Look at them. Since I feel like I'm being gypped. What? All right, fine. Whatever game. Yeah, rip me off. Normally it has a special move like Thunder Fang or, or Fire Fang or something. Tisk tisk. All right, salty. It's a female, so perfect. That's gonna be the perfect fit here. Oh, it knows Fire Fang. Why didn't it? It's weird. Normally the Pokedex nav tells you that they have a special move. As long as we catch it, that is. We have ten Pokeballs. I figure I better catch this thing. I don't think he has any moves that hurt himself. So we should be able to. There we go, first ball. GG. Yes. Oh, I got the perfect nickname for you. Trouble. <laughs> Stirring up all sorts of trouble, I'm telling you right now. Salty. Salty. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, it's Ezio. Oh, I miss you, Ets. There's Ezio. There's trouble all grown up, fighting off against Watson. You guys missed that episode because I was a derp and lost the file. There's Salvatore. Oh, he's he's looking over from Valhalla Ugh. you guys in the comments section please please leave um, whether you guys want to see this LP continue through the Delta episode um, not doing the forever wedlock though uh, just doing 
a normal playthrough the rest of the way. Please let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I'd really like to hear uh, whether or not you would. And look, more, more pictures of Trouble. <sighs> Trouble really was a big leader in this LP. So surprised by it. Like... You never think of a Mighty Anna being the strong one. And there's Salvatore going off against Flannery. Man, Salvatore. I really like how they did this and personalized the outro. The outro. The, the credits with your Pokemon that you used. You know? And there we go. Beating up Daddy Norman. Oh, and there's Huggin. Oh, Miss Bowie. Miss Bowie fighting Winona. Ugh. Seriously, this is just a trip down memory lane. Oh, I love this so much. I don't know if you guys are watching the entire thing. Um, I might have cut pieces so that you guys would, you know, not have to sit through such a quiet part. Team Magnus hideout with Miss Bowie. I can't believe it's over. And there's Chernobyl. There he is. He made it all the way through. Along with trouble. Good job, guys. Proud. I am proud. As you guys can tell, Salvatore has been through a lot. We use Salvatore a ton in this LP. Because I'm pretty sure that the pictures are based off of who you used in certain battles. Bonnie! Bonnie! <laughs> Come back to me, Bonnie! I can't live without you. Oh, Bonnie, you were so good. And there's Delta. Delta gets them an appearance, fighting off against Wally, the brat who murdered some of our Pokemon. And there we go, Juliet versus the Metagross. The Metagross. Mega Metagross, yeah, that's right. Juliet, you really were the champion of this last episode. You really were. Shigeru Ohamami. Each star is a Pokemon we lost. Guess, 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 guess. Here we are on Route 103 again. Wow, this is so amazing. Oh, remember that pawn? This is where we first battled, isn't it? Yes, it is. Norsi, could you do something for me? Come on, let's battle one more time. No. I want to know what it's, uh, what you saw in your journey, how you felt, and what you experienced out there. I want to understand everything about you and your Pokemon, Norsi. All right then. I want you to understand everything about me and mine. One more battle, guys. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Pokemon Trainer May. I'm pretty sure the wedlock's over, though. So any Pokemon we lose here, I don't think it's gonna matter. But let's uh, let's just try our hardest not to lose anybody, anyways. One last battle. Oh, we no longer have Rock Slide. Rather unfortunate, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and get a Heavy Slam off. It should do a pretty good amount of damage. Steel Wing. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh, May, with your Steel Wings. Trying to be like Steven Stone. Goodbye, Swellow. You never stood a chance. I'm sorry. But that's what Ezio could have been one day. A Mag Cargo. Let's keep battling. Juliet's got this. Filter, the filter ability is legit. 
Seriously, filter ability is legit. If you guys don't know what filter is, it makes it so that you only take one third damage from super effective moves, or it takes away. It does something, it decreases the effectiveness of super effective moves, which is just amazing. So, we're gonna stay out here with Juliet and just give her all the airtime possible for her amazing victory recently. Uh, this Pokemon we definitely can't heavy slam against though, so. Will we, can we hit it with an earthquake? Is it part flying? No, it's not. Why was I? Oh, it's Whale Lord. Can, Whale Lord can fly, but it's not part flying. That's right. Okay, I don't know why I thought that for a second. Raichu, we are steamrolling through this. That would have been such a cool nickname. If I ever get a male Aggron, I'm naming it Steamroll. Oh my gosh, that's such a cool name. Oh my gosh. Oh, you paralyze us, you little punk. You little punk, man. That's it, you're getting an earthquake. Anyways, we're gonna hack through that paralyze. See you later. You had no chance. You got the crit, that's amazing. <sighs> Septile. Let's uh let's switch up. Let's let Delta get some airtime. Delta didn't get too much airtime this LP. Um this this episode. So let's let Delta get a chance to shine and go for a nice old um X scissor. And plus scroll level. We're gonna mega evolve. <laughs> Delta doesn't care. Delta does not care. Oh, he gets X slash off or night slash. That is not gonna do anything to us. We are so bulky. Plus he gets the rocket helmet damage. So X scissor away and almost down. One more X scissor should do it. Okay. Girlfriend just texted me saying she'll be home in 20 minutes. Actually, the Rocky Helmet damage is going to be enough to take down the Sceptile, and I believe that is it. Wow, that was a quick battle. We just steamrolled right through that. That's right. That's why I'm champion. Thanks, Norsey. You really are a champion. Meeting so many different people and encountering so many Pokemon. This is such a slow cutscene. It's just really... Reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. It's been really, really fun. Ah. Oh. Norsey, look at that. Oh. It's all of our Pokemon coming down from Valhalla to visit us again. <laughs> Maybe Ragnarok is coming. Uh-oh. You know what they say. During Ragnarok, Valhalla's Chosen will fall to fight again. Maybe that's what will happen. We'll have to find out. The end. Well, guys, I think that's probably as good of a place as any to end things right there where it says the end. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this series all the way through. I really appreciate all the support you guys gave. Like I already said, you guys are fantastic. I really enjoyed doing this. Please let me know what game you want me to LP next, and we'll definitely have some Pokemon games coming in the future because I love them so much. So, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much once again, and uh, may your sword stay sharp and your shields hold forever true. Stay frosty, guys. Sapphire, because I just could not wait. So unfortunately, I already know the nostalgia that is this next scene, but if you've never seen it, wait until you see it, because this is insane. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting.